Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Rivals. Uh, we want to do a quick little video today about something really cool that my husband made for the game room. As you guys know, we're always into doing our DIYs around the game room to make it ours, to make it just special to us. So, yeah. He decided to do two special things to our game room, and I'm telling you that today. Sounds wrong. What? That sounds wrong. <laughs> oh. He decided to make two special things for <laughs> our game room. <laughs> when you first explained to me what you were going to do, yeah. I'll admit I had yeah. no clue what you were talking about. So he told me I'm going to make two light up signs. And when you said light up sign, I just kept picturing a wooden sign with lights on the outside. And I'm like, I don't know how that's gonna work. But um, it does work and it's not what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Would you like to explain to the people? I will try. Each set of lights cost us 40 bucks. 40 bucks which was plus. Expensive. For 12, 12 feet of um, patio LED lights. Yeah. We could have got them way cheaper. I think we probably could have got them for like half. Yeah, I, I would assume. The uh, the wood that I used for both signs put together probably didn't cost forty dollars. No, yeah. no, it was really really affordable for the wood. Yeah. We were really really lucky that we already had stain here, so we didn't need to yeah. buy that. And uh, I wish I could tell you exactly what color it is, but I will pop up. <laughs> A picture of the closest version of what that is. We had a lighter stain and a darker stain yeah. and we only had very little of the chocolate brown stain left. So I mixed it in and... To me it kind of looks more like a walnut. It looks like a walnut. Yeah, I made okay. two light up signs. Um, a PlayStation light up sign and a GameCube sign. GameCube one is above the door, the PlayStation is above the the big screen. The PlayStation sign measures at 49 inches long, 11 inches high, and it's two and a half inches thick. Yep. The GameCube is 45 inches long, six inches high, and also two and a half inches thick. The best way we found to get the lettering for the signs, because we cut out all the letters, was to just download the font off Google and if you have Microsoft Word, it will automatically add it to your Microsoft Word when you download it, and it was right there. So the GameCube was GameCubin, and the PlayStation was like ZRIC -Z or something like that. But I'll pop that up on the screen too so that you guys know exactly what font we used. Yep. The font for the GameCube was. 280 points and the font for the PlayStation was 625 points. Well, I'll get into the supplies because there wasn't a whole lot. Uh -uh. I had one piece of plywood that was four feet by two feet and it was a quarter inch thick. It also had like uh, an oak veneer yeah. on one side. Yeah. The reason why I got that one is no in particular reason. It was just like it one, was of the, the one of the cheapest ones yeah. there, but it also pops a lot of green. Exactly. And what I framed it out was with was um, pine, yeah, eight foot lengths. Yep. I got three of them, and they're two and a half inches thick by three quarters inch. Two other things for uh, supplies I had that are optional, in my opinion, is the stain because it looked fine in it, natural wood. It did, and or whatever stain you want to use, or if you just want to clear coat it, or, or if you want to paint it, it really, paint it, yeah. do whatever you want with it. I also had plexiglass. I had some uh, eighth, I think it was eighth, yeah, one eighth inch thick plexiglass that I had in my garage from a previous project. Yeah. So I just used that inside behind the letters that I cut out. Uh, first of all, I cut out the plywood uh, for the signs at the proper width and length that I need it for each sign. Then we stenciled on the letters. Yep. So you printed off the fonts that I needed for all the letters. I took the time, I measured, laid them all out. Then we put- uh, Carbon copy carbon, paper. Carbon, carbon copy paper underneath. 
and then I just traced over top of it. I had to go drill some holes for my jigsaw blade that I used to cut the letters out with. I had a smaller, narrower jigsaw blade with fine teeth on it because this quarter inch plywood, when you're looking at the lettering on the signs, there are points there where there's not a lot of wood left after I cut it out, so I had to be very delicate. Yes. I did not want to break any of it, especially when I already have three quarters of the sign cut out. Yeah, that, that would have been just yeah. horrible. Out of all the processes, or all everything put together, like cutting out the letters took me the longest. Yeah, the PlayStation letters, as you know, PlayStation is very thin, and in comparison to doing the GameCube sign, the PlayStation 1 took you a lot longer to cut out, but yeah. you also had the big symbol to cut out too with it. So after I cut out my letters, I cut the pine to frame out the, uh, the sign, the sign of all the letters that I cut out on the plywood. I cut pine, the two and a half inch pine that I had. I, I cut that on 45 degree angles so you can kind of make like a picture frame around it. And that was tricky too. It was tricky because also took the table saw and I cut a groove or a slot down the, uh, the entire length of the of the pine yeah. so that the plywood would sit inside of it. I had to make my depth of the cut for that groove a quarter inch. So when you're thinking of your width of your sign, I'm cutting a quarter inch in each side. So then you that's a half an inch extra on the length. It was tricky. Well, it just had made me think. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> You had to do some thinking. I had to do some thinking. Um, after I got that all cut out and the grooves cut, I air nailed it all together. Just Brad finishing nails. And uh, then we stained it. And staining didn't take too long, but no. it was it, mega stinky. Yeah, and we had to let it dry overnight. Yeah, so I would suggest oh. doing that in a well-ventilated area. Yes. So after it was stained, um, the next morning it was all dry and I decided to put plexiglass in. So I went out and I cut the plexiglass that I had. I just cut it on the table saw. I, I placed that in and all I did to glue it in was just use some uh, clear silicone. I pushed it in, then after that, the, uh, the LED lights I cut, that I bought came with these little clips that you can screw into the wood to hold everything. So I just used that to install the lights on the inside, cut a notch in the top of the sign where I wanted my plug-in to come out of, to go up in the ceiling, and then hung my signs. And it was very easy. Uh, you didn't even have to put any screws in the sign to hang it because you put such a tight fit with the boards that you installed on the wall to actually anchor the sign yep. that it just fit over like a glove or like the if you were putting a cover on the top of a box it just kind of like slid that, right yeah. like on like that yeah, if so you turn a box sideways and then shove the lid on that's kind of how it worked that was pretty much the whole process there it wasn't a huge it was a, a couple day job. project. You could have, it could have been a day project. Oh, I could have easily done both signs in one day. Yeah. But I, Why push yourself I, to do something? We're not We're not doing right anything now. right now. So I'm just doing stuff to keep myself busy. Yeah. Right? So I, I really like I both them. signs. I absolutely love the PlayStation sign. I don't know what it is. It, I like that one so much more. Well, I think it's exactly what you had in your mind. Yeah. The blue lights behind it. It lights up blue. Yeah. It, it's, it's wicked awesome. The GameCube one originally was going to be a Nintendo sign, but since we have our big Nintendo yeah. controller in also, the background. Also, <clears throat> when I was looking up font for all this, I just, when I looked up font for Nintendo, GameCube yeah. popped up and I liked the way the font yeah. looked and I knew it would be easier to cut out the letters on that. One modification we did need to make to the GameCube sign which in hindsight, we probably didn't need to do that now that you put the plexiglass on it, but it doesn't matter, is obviously your B has to join somewhere oh. for those center parts. I don't mind that at all. No, I don't. It, you know what? Yeah. It really still You can still take a close-up picture of that if you want. It looks like a B to me. Yeah. But I would have had to have saved the inside, the round part of the inside of the B and then glue it on a plexiglass. And I didn't want to do that stuff. Because no. originally I wasn't going to put plexiglass in there. Exactly. It was just like a, kind of an afterthought and I already had the supplies, so I figured why not use but it. But that was a tricky cut. I think that's the first cut <laughs> you made on that That side. was the first cut because that one made me nervous. I was, yeah. I was 
90% sure I was going to break it. <laughs> and you didn't. And I did and I got lucky. I'm honestly, oh. like, he builds a lot of stuff and I'm always impressed because he's, he's really, that's that's his strong suit. He's that's really good hobby. at that. His, You're like, really good at painting and stuff like that, but yeah. I'm, I've been doing woodworking wo forever. Woodworking carpentry stuff since I was a little kid. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm, that's not my job. I didn't go to school for it. That's just a hobby. I, I've had people uh, ask me, well, how come you don't do it? you know, earn money. And I'm like, well, then it's not a hobby anymore <laughs> exactly. and I wouldn't enjoy it. So. Exactly. And it's the same thing for me with, with the creative stuff I do. I have done some side projects, but mostly I just enjoy doing them to do them. Yeah. If I had to do it full you time, had to it do wouldn't it for be a fun. job. It would be a job. It wouldn't be a hobby. Exactly. So. Exactly. But I'm, yep. I'm very impressed. Thank you. You did a great job. I don't know if As I mentioned, always. I don't know if I, 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 I am, mentioned before that uh, I wanted lights with a remote and yeah. the fun thing about that is like you can change color yeah on the signs or you can have different settings to make them do different patterns of lights or whatever but I really enjoy the PlayStation one with the blue oh yeah you really like GameCube being red right? I liked the GameCube in red because we have a green Xbox sign yep. we have the blue and we it's just yeah all primary colors, so. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of so, worked. It was a fun little project. It, it turned was. out well. I, I'm happy with the way it turned out. But and your project have has now turned into more projects. Because <laughs> we have a space above our freezer in our bar area, and it is just bare now. Yeah. And it's missing something. It needs some kind of decoration now. And then I also said our uh, stairwell coming down is yep. a little bit dark, so we're thinking of a cool project for there, but we won't give yeah. it away yet because yeah. it'll be fun to show you guys. That stuff's going to be later on. Yeah. Down the road. Yeah. Lots of time. I think I have to wait for you to finish some paintings first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, we really appreciate all, yeah. all the views we're getting, and I really appreciate the little community of people that we have that we're always in contact with. Yeah, I appreciate it's, you guys. It's so much fun. Keep it in contact with us, giving us your feedback. You know, we yep. appreciate the likes. Oh yeah. Even some of the thumbs down there, <laughs> or the or the angry faces, or whatever else you get. we've gotten there. I was like scratching my head. I'm like, why? <laughs> the first thumb down we got, I was like, oh, no! devastated. Her. Yeah. But now I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Not every content's for everybody, and if you feel strongly enough to give it a thumbs down, well then that's your prerogative. So yeah. well, it is yeah. what it is. <laughs> then we look at it and say, what do we do? What do we do? What could we do better? And but then, even sometimes there's not anything yeah. you could do better. You just they have could click that... on there and just say, I don't like his face. That <laughs> happens enough. There, so. <laughs> just in regular life, that happens to me, so oh, I can't do anything gosh. about it. <laughs> I think we ended here. All right, we're gonna end it here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. See you next time.